following segment is sponsored by Oakdale Egg Farms. Truly come be my Valentine with my friends from Oakdale Eggs as I show you how to put together an amazing strawberry crepe with fresh lemon curd. Mm, doesn't get any better than this for Valentine's Day. Starting off with our crepes here. I have the crepe batter already made and I've been busy as you can see making crepes. And the crepe batter is nothing more than five Oakdale eggs. You're going to put them into a blender with some flour and sugar and milk. A little bit of salt is going to go in there. And then you blend them up in the blender, puree them till they're good and together, and then let that batter sit for about 30 minutes so that that flour rehydrates in there. And then you can start making the crepes. I have a nonstick pan, of which I have on a medium-low heat. Add that into there, as you see, and then I just very carefully swirl that around to fill, finish filling up the bottom of that pan. Then I'm gonna let that cook there. And the nice thing about a nonstick pan is, oh, it's nonstick, or, you know, knock on wood, it should be nonstick. Then you're gonna flip it over, because we do want to have some nice color on there. Now let me catch you up to what else I've been doing here in the kitchen. So I've created the lemon curd. Lemon curd is the easiest stuff in the world. Why you would spend $10 on a bottle of lemon curd, I don't know. All it is is five Oakdale egg yolks, a half, some sugar in there, as well as about a half a cup of fresh lemon juice, a little pinch of salt. Mix that all together with a stick of butter, and as soon as it comes to a boil, take it off, strain it off, and let it chill, and you have lemon curd that is out of this world. Now, don't worry. This recipe will be up on my website that you can go grab that as well as KUTV.com. Now, I also have some strawberry cream that I have ready to go here, which is cream cheese, strawberry jam, and whipped heavy whipping cream in there, guys. So now all the components are ready to go. All we got to do strawberry. is put them together. Nice. Oh, yeah. The following segment is sponsored by Oakdale Egg Farms. Well, I love it, folks. Welcome into the kitchen where I'm showing you how to do crepes two different ways, which are so fun. So a traditional crepe here with the strawberry cream in the center rolled up, and we'll finish that one off here in just a minute. I'm also creating what is called a crepe cake. By layering our crepes on top of each other, you chill this and then cut it, and you're going to have a beautiful presentation of all of these layers that are going to be just so delicious. And so I'm just spreading that strawberry cream over the crepe just like this that and then what you're going to do is take some of the lemon curd and just kind of drizzle that over the top of it just like that oh and this is so good I've been piecing or snacking on this lemon curd and then you'll finish it off with a beautiful crepe right on top there we go and then of course when we're doing crepes here we have to have our powdered sugar to finish things off and I'm just gonna put some powdered sugar right in this um, mesh strainer here. Careful, because you know, powdered sugar seriously goes everywhere. And if you don't believe me, wear a dark shirt when you're working with it. Sprinkle on some of that powdered sugar all over it and it'll be just perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit here, there we go. Sprinkle it with some of your freshly chopped up strawberries to go on top of it. And a little lemon curd to finish it off. And you have a delicious, high in omega-3, delicious, omega-3 high, delicious, wonderful egg dish. So head on over to KUTV.com or cookingwithchefbrian.com for the recipe and enjoy some fresh Oakdale egg ideas for Valentine's. What are you going to do with three new Valentines, Brian? With three new Valentines? Yeah, Lindsay, Ron, and me. <laughs> <laughs> well...